Hi, I thought I'd make this video because I saw a couple of posts on YouTube of a lawnmower used as a wood chipper. And uh, looking at the comments, I, I think that the people got the impression that it doesn't really work very well. Well, in my opinion, it, it works well if you add a funnel to the lawnmower like that. You know, people try to just cut a hole to the case of the lawnmower and feed the branches through that. Well, it's difficult because branches get stuck to the edges of the hole. So it's just, you know, a simple matter of making a funnel of sheet metal and some pop rivets. You know, <laughs> it's it's really crude what you're looking at, but it's it uh, it works well. And um, perhaps this. Also, uh, a significance for the facts how you, what what kind of blade you have. You see, this blade has has this part. That, uh, let me try a different angle. That outer edge is cutting along the ground, and the upper, uh, the edge near the center of the blade is cutting like. Uh, downwards and I also added this bar here so the edge is edge of the blade is cutting against that bar like so so I have to feed the branches to the center towards the center of the machine so that's my arrangement if you have a blade that cuts just along the ground, I mean you have the uh, flat part, oh, I mean the grind part, part on the top of the blade, then maybe this doesn't work so well. In that case maybe you can build something uh, that you can use to feed the branches from underside of the machine. I've seen uh, that kind of things on YouTube too. Something about this lawnmower, it was trash picked. Oops, the spark plug wire got detached. Uh, I found it from a nearby town from a metal recycling platform and I turned it a few, few times and noticed that there was good compression, so I was confident that I could fix it so I took it home and uh, I had to uh, clean the water of the drain the water from the gas tank the cork was missing so I put some some cork from uh, from uh, an, some oil bottle that fit there also the prime wasn't working so I cleaned the carburetor with uh, some gasoline the and the starter line coil wasn't working. I had to put some oil, oil there, and the spark plus plug was just full of gunk. There was no way it would have produced a spark. So I had to clean that one, and then I measured the resistances also. Uh, also, the handlebar was broken. You see here. Maybe you can see that. We focus. Oops broken here so I drew uh, drilled new uh, holes here and then I hammered a little bit more bend upwards to the bar I had to do that on both sides then this ignition um, bar was missing so I just made some of oh, some flat iron you see how the cable is attached there okay let me focus again You see, and uh, the throttle cable was missing, and it's still missing. That it's just on full power. But anyway, it's free, <laughs> and, and it works. 
it starts very well. And so, um, then about the mulch, mulch uh, or the chips it, it creates, it's, it's pretty fine. Only these smaller, finer twigs, they don't get uh, chipped very well. Yeah, they're kind of bendy and just sometimes throws them out. But otherwise, this this probably this good quality. I think this is gonna rot a lot better than the than the intact branches. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna set the. Wait a minute. Do I have any gasoline left? Yeah, some. Okay, I'm I'm gonna cut a a few branches here. Willow is easiest to feed. It it goes through the funnel very well. Um, birch, um, depending whether it's from an old tree and very crooked, and so it's not that easy to easy to feed sometimes, or it may be easy to feed. These kind of branches that spread out, pine branches spread out very much. They're harder to feed. They need to be st stuck down with a stick or the next branch or something. There's some uh, young spruce spruce trees here. So I'm gonna set the camera here and show you a little bit. Cut. Okay, I think that's fine. Oh, by the way, you need good protection for this. Ears and eyes, of course, and the hands, feet, the boots, maybe a little bit thicker clothes. You know, not the totally safe thing, so it may fly out some sticks.
Okay, so there you have it. It works. I've already cut a pretty big pile of wood. It only makes a small pile of chips, of course. So like uh, one meter high and two meters wide and four meters um, long pile of branches. And that becomes that. Oh, and that. I'm gonna burn those in the winter. Um, so, if you can make a funnel that is as wide as possible, it's better. Um, since the branches that are spread out more get through, so through that easier. So, I think that's more than enough proof that it works. Uh, I would not necessarily butch a new lawnmower, but if you have an old one like this, a free one perhaps, uh, then you can try it. Okay, so if you like this video, please vote. If you don't, vote down. <laughs> and uh, if you have something to ask, please comment.